So Spring Break Nationals is this weekend in Daytona. We bought a Opteca X grip. One of one of those. Box. No one cares about it. We did just a couple of modifications to it. Here's the final product. John's photo bombing in the background. <laughs> Hi, Internet. So the first thing that we did is we added on two lithium LED lights. These will produce 300 lumens a piece, really wide angle. Um, you still get a bit of a tunnel effect when um, this camera's on, when the GoPro's on. It's even worse because the GoPro has a really, really, really wide lens. Um, we're running a monoprice, 9,000 milliamp hour battery, backup battery for a cell phone or whatever it is. It outputs 5 volts DC and actually it's functioning now. That's why you have that really annoying blue light. And uh, that is running into this cable here, which runs down underneath the battery, up and over to a splitter. Now, the splitter originally had a case on it. Here's the case. Old school USB 1.1. Had a case on it. Case came off, um, dremeled out the bottom bit here so that it could fit flush, and we can attach uh, three USB items. That's going to be a bit difficult to see. One port's blocked by part of the X grip. But that allows us to connect different items. So say, oh, my phone's dead. Oh, well, we can help you with that. You know, or you can connect directly into the battery. Um, but the battery is good for 9,000 milliamp hours, which is 9 amp hours for all of you math people out there. And the battery, little cute little battery, 860 milliamps. So, and the battery lasts for about an hour. So you figure this is 10x this. So we will get 10 hours of continuous recording time out of this setup here. These lights are good for right about an hour a piece. Uh, we will probably only run one at a time because it's really not necessary to run both unless we're really needing extra light. And uh, they have a spare they have a spare battery each. Um, they are three volt a 3.7 volt lithium. We have a 900 and a 1200 milliamp hour for each, and uh, we'll probably start with the 9 and go up to the 12 and just see. If we do need to do some spot work, we do have the ability to go into spot mode. However, they're, they're pointed like that so that their floods actually widen out a bit. That way the, the camera has more of ease of use. But I'm going to go and give you another look at the Opteca X grip. P2 Design Technologies mod, which is still charging the battery. Everything is removable. It's just on there with zip ties right now. Um, this is this is hot glued because hot glue. And uh, yeah, for reference, this is a JVC Averio uh, 720p. There's really no reason for 1080. You can up convert it simply, or just not give a crap. Oh look, the oven's ready. You know, of course, I'm doing a video. The oven uh, needs to go. I on. was like, "You want to make a video? Let me sing you the song of my people." Yeah. But yeah, it it works great. Um, we're charging all the stuff now. We're charging the camera up from the battery. I'll charge the battery overnight on a laptop because the battery charges with what I think is probably one of the dumbest things Monoprice has done in a while. They have a proprietary USB connector that goes in the back of it right it's hard to do this in reverse right there so i know you can you cannot use it as, as a usb pass through it's either charging the battery or the battery's charging something it's not a usb pass through which kind of sucks but it's 9000 milliamp hours kids oh look my neck is glowing blue so yeah and what was it? The X grip was twenty bucks MSRP. Yep, X grip was twenty. The lights were twenty total. But we, the lights we had in stock, it was something that I bought a while back. I really like them. You know, they're they're cheap, easy lights. They're like six fifty a piece. No, 
No, it was like 11 was bucks. Like five for all. bucks. Yeah, it was like with a spare battery charger and all that. It was like seven, eight bucks. Got it from eBay. Um, if you don't mind waiting, you can get them on Amazon for cheaper. I got mine in, in the States, so I paid a little bit more. I didn't want to wait three weeks to get them from Hong Kong. But you can get them from Hong Kong for pretty cheap. Um, camera was a craptastic Woot special. It is a refurb. Does native time lapse for the people that are feeling a little bit interesting here. Same camera that uh, the Geek Group uses for all yep. their time lapse and all of their yeah. uh, AV ones. If you go to the Geek Group, you'll see all their time lapse videos are all done with these JVC Vireo cameras. They're great little cameras. They do pretty decent sound recording, and uh, I, I like them a lot. They're, they're, their form factor is pretty hard to beat. I mean, it completely fits on the Opteca without any excess crap coming off the side. That's actually the custom charge cable that I just finished for it. You can see the uh, right there is where the heat shrink bit is. But yeah. Um, the USB hub, we had it in stock. It was crap. It's a 1.1. It's completely useless to us. And uh, the Monoprice battery, I think, was 27. It's on. We got it was it on 27. It was 27. It was on yeah. deal today. For 29. 29.19. Yeah. Like, we must have gotten it on a special deal. Yeah. But no. That we we normally use a APC battery, a, a seven amp hour lead acid battery, and it weighs like what seven eight pounds. Yeah. And we we had taken that to the. Uh, what was it? The thing in Celebration. Yeah. Uh, it was went to, the Celebration Exotic Car Festival. And it ran, it ran all that day. camera all day without turning the camera off. Yeah, so we decided to get with something a little bit bigger, a lot smaller, and it's a lot lighter. Two amp hours more. Yeah. Realistically, and it can, it's probably only and, an amp hour. And more. it can easily charge multiple items now that we have the splitter on there, you know. Yeah. So we we can bring items that don't have good battery lives. Or if we really, really, really want it. We can bring one of these little USB lights, which probably we should bring one because that, yeah. that's not a bad idea at all. And uh, oh, when you plug it in properly, yeah. And that'll get just a little bit more of a washed light. That's probably not a bad plan to get one in here kind of like that who knows but just something to uh, give a little more illumination i don't know uh but th this is the setup for spring break nationals this is obviously not included uh we might bring it in for doing headshots and stuff because these are really bright yeah i wouldn't want to put that in somebody's face be like i need more light here yeah. use these lights by the way you can't look at the camera now yeah so yeah no that th this is actually a great idea i'm glad i glad i thought of it Gotta plug it down more. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I dig it. Why I do have to point it down a little bit. So yeah, that's the. Oh wow, that actually works for near field. Yeah, it works really well for near field, which means it'll work really well with the GoPro. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to dick around with that a little bit and see where it takes us. So yeah, there's that. Yep. So that's the Optega X Grip mod. No modifications to the Opteca besides a whole lot of zip ties and just a little bit of hot glue. Yeah. I mean, um, come overall, on, it's a geeks. good product. Um, let me get it. Yeah, you, you've... Overall, it's a you good product. You want to come in? Here. As, as what most... Oh, well, I guess i got to sit down now. Oh, yeah, you got to sit down. be like an official thing. Okay, so a lot of people say this about the Opteca. The one, the one complaint I have about this, and I knew it buying it, so it really wasn't a huge issue, is that it flexes. See how I can move that? During a, like, either a, a movement where you, like, walk downstairs and you kind of jiggle it a little bit, or if you're trying to do a nice sweeping shot in something, um, you either do a little bit of a jerking motion, it can kind of... Um, twist and bend it's 20 bucks um the cam caddy which was recommended to me um is twice as expensive minimally and every single addition that you add on to it is about another 20 bucks you end up spending a lot of money and i don't yeah. mind cutting this if i needed to 
And I also wouldn't mind just taking a little bit of aluminum that I've got in the garage and strengthening that. Yeah, and, 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 and what you can do is... You, you can, can put a bar from here to here. Well, no, you, you, you take a little piece, you, you bend a little piece of C channel and you go yeah. up here and over here. and You could, you could make now this it's rigid. very sturdy. You know, and, and the, excess, the extra cost there is so minimal that yeah. it, it, it won't matter. It's a good product, though. I mean, if, if I had to rate the Opteca so far, I mean, we've only done a little bit of sweeping shots. Give you it know. one one to ten, ten being best. Um, I'd give it like a seven and a half to an eight. Uh, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna go to like a anywhere between a six and an eight. Honestly, yeah. I, I was leaning toward more a seven. Yeah, because it's. I'll useful. tell you. I mean, I have no idea if this is gonna last this weekend. I really hope it does, but we're about to. It's useful, go to but you get what you pay break for. nationals. So this probably could possibly not last who knows we'll see how it goes uh, you know if you guys have any comments comment below uh subscribe is up no oh, up there this is reversed this freaks me out you need to reverse this subscribe is up here uh but you know hey thanks again guys uh for watching it's a p2 design technologies youtube video copyright 2013